up next hour. All for one with I Swear. And Minnesota. Right now, here's Glamour House featuring Jasmine and We Must Believe. From London's Hot Mix, 6XFM. CIXX. We're 6X FM London. From Broadcast News, I'm Jerry Smith. Two Quebec police officers have been charged with trafficking and conspiracy to traffic in anabolic steroids. Those are the first charges laid after a series of raids involving the Chambly Police Department, and more are likely. The 32 other people face an array of more serious drug, weapons, stolen goods, and conspiracy charges. More details are expected at a morning news conference. The Mounties have conducted a raid on CTV's Parliamentary Bureau. It's part of a continuing investigation of a former Tory aide who leaked information about the Canadian Security Intelligence Service. BN's Dan Dugan says the Mounties alleged Brian McInnes broke the Official Secrets Act. McGinnis, who worked for former Solicitor General Doug Lewis, leaked the memo to newspapers and admitted in an interview with CFTO, which was also carried on CTV, that he was the one who leaked it. Well, that's what the Mounties wanted yesterday, a copy of that story. The television people sealed the tape and notes, handed them over to a judge, and they'll await a court decision on whether the material has to be turned over. McKinnis has not been charged with any crime. Quebec Premier Daniel Johnson says he'll be sticking around no matter what happens on election night. Johnson has been refusing to comment on his political future should he lose the September 12th vote, calling the question hypothetical. But he does say he's in the political game for the long run. A string of fires at five United Churches in Calgary has left members wondering if their stand on controversial issues could be the reason behind the arsons. The most controversial was the decision six years ago to ordain gay and lesbian ministers. More than 100,000 people have left Canada's largest Protestant church since then. The IRA ceasefire continues to hold. Noel Thompson reports from Belfast that Jerry Adams, the head of the IRA's political wing, is outlining what Catholics expect to see from the troops. The Sinn Féin president, Jerry Adams, made his party's opening demands, calling for the Northern Ireland Police Force and the British Army to be withdrawn from Catholic areas, although he admitted this wouldn't happen at once. And he said the IRA would not be forced to retaliate for the murder of a Catholic by Protestant extremists, the first killing since the ceasefire began. An uneasy calm reigns in Northern Ireland this weekend. There's a great yearning for peace and a sometimes reluctant conviction that this week's startling developments create the best ever opportunity to create it. Noel Thompson, ABC News, Belfast. After decades of hostility, China and Russia today signed agreements promising not to target nuclear missiles at each other. The joint statement was signed at the conclusion of Kremlin talks between China's president and Russian president Boris Yeltsin. The Viking serenade had been scheduled to be on the high seas this weekend, but it's still important in San Pedro, California, while authorities try to find the source of an illness that fell more than 600 passengers. Two teenage members of an Alaska Indian tribe are starting a tough sentence. Tribal elders are sending them to deserted islands for up to 18 months. Teens are being sentenced for robbing and beating a pizza delivery man in Washington State. This is Broadcast News. In sports, defending champion Pete Sampras made quick work of Daniel Vecek to advance to the third round of the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament. 8th seed Andre Medvedev and 11th seed Jim Courier were not as lucky, both lost in second round action. 3rd seed Conchita Martinez was an upset victim on the women's side. Robbie Gordon edged out Nigel Mansell for the provisional pole position for tomorrow's running in the Molson Indy in Vancouver. And Michael Andretti, the two-time winner of the race, posted the third fastest time. Jacques Villeneuve had the fourth fastest time ahead of Paul Tracy. Indy car points leader Al Unser Jr. did not take part in qualifying due to a case of food poisoning. Dave Barr is just two shots behind the leader, heading into the third round of the Greater Milwaukee Open. Barr 7 under 64, leaves him at 9 under after two rounds, tied with three other golfers. D.A. Wybring is the leader at 11 under par after shooting 5 under 66. One game in the CFL, B.C. and Sacramento played to a 15-all tie. Jamie Redmond's interception with 26 seconds left stopped the Lions on a potential game-winning drive. From Broadcast News, I'm Jerry Smith. Taking a look at the forecast for the Forest City. Variable cloudiness for, the, for most of the day. Continuing cool with a high of 17. And for tonight, a few clouds and lows down to 10. Sunday will be mainly sunny with a high of 21. Currently in the city, it is 8. When the sun comes up, it gets even hotter on London's Hot Mix. 106.9, 6X FM. And if I do dream, I dream you're mine. Like the Ha! 
10 minutes after 8 and 8 degrees in the city. I'm Hal Gilpin. Good morning, London. This is The Real McCoy featuring MC Sar, an automatic lover. From London's hot mix, 106.96 XFM. <laughs> Hot Mix, 6XFM, The Real McCoy featuring MC Sar. Before that with Automatic Lover, Split Personality in there, and BG, the Prince of Rap. Starting off the hour with The Color of My Dreams. It's 18 minutes past 8, 8 degrees in the city. We're looking for a high today of only 17. A few clouds tonight and a low down to 10. The Procrastinators Club of America is planning a celebration. One of these days, Club President Les Wass says it wants to observe National Be Late for Something Day. The chief procrastinator says it's an annual event members haven't done in a while. But he adds there's nothing definite yet. Some ideas for the National Procrastinator's Day include taking in a major league ball game or perhaps an ice cream Monday. Boss says the Philadelphia-based group is taking suggestions, but he says there's no hurry. After all, for procrastinators, there's always next year. On the way, music from Shanice and All for One, maybe. This is not a test. You won't need a number two pencil, a sharpener, slide rule, or pocket protector. If you don't know how to figure pi or that there's an infinite number of prime numbers, no problem. Put away your calculator. Pull out your common sense, because common sense is all it takes to figure out that in the world of business, things aren't the same as they used to be. The old solutions just don't seem to work anymore. If common sense and the competition are telling you it's time to consider new approaches in marketing, we suggest that 6XFM may be one of them. You're listening to our radio station, so are the people you're trying to reach. It's only common sense that you use us to reach them. For rate card information or to make arrangements to have our marketing specialist meet with you, call 6XFM during regular business hours at 453 2810. If imagination is the currency of our times, you can take our ideas all the way to the bank. 106.9, 6XFM. It's just common sense. Good morning. It's 20 after 8 and 8 degrees in the city. With Shan East on London's Hot Mix, 6XFM. to 
Sean from Ashley. That's all for one, and I swear. From London's Hot Mix, 6XFM, Lisa Lowheat in there, and Shanice with saving forever for you. It's 8.32, 8 degrees in the city, variable cloudiness for the rest of the day, and I'm looking for a high of only 17, and tonight a few clouds and lows down to 10. Lots of sunshine for tomorrow, though, and highs reaching 21. This is a little bit warmer. The telethon for muscular dystrophy takes place this weekend, and uh, the London Pledge Center is located at Masonville Place at 1680 Richmond Street North. Uh, you can, or you can make your phone pledge by calling 675-1555, but you might want to head down to Masonville Place anyway and enjoy all sorts of activities. There's live entertainment, children's activities, a bike rodeo going on down there, a miniature golf tournament, a video challenge, and even a euchre tournament. On the way, we got music from Schoolie D and Elastic Band. FM. It's 8.34, 26 minutes away from 9 o'clock, 8 degrees in the city under partly cloudy skies. This is Schoolie D, and welcome to America. On London's Hot Mix, 6XFM. Oh yeah, what's up? I wanna ask Black America a question. How can every time we get a new credit note back, you say they go straight there? Some suckers in Washington, D.C. don't get a hair on the back. Me, check it out. Welcome to America. You better get your back. You doesn't want that. 